Welcome everybody. Now in this post we're going to be analysing fancy Premier League data using Power BI. Now in our previous post we've pulled data in using the FPL API and then uh, we used PowerShell to do that and we loaded the data into Power BI using Power Query uh, and we had explored some of the available connectors that are available to us. The model we've come up with is pretty basic at the moment um, and the reports and visuals we're going to create here as we progress through the season um, we're going to enhance and modify as we as, as we go along but for this post we're simply going to add a table visual and some slices and we'll also use the filter pane so we can narrow down our data uh, to our specific needs and then we can use that to pick a team that will hopefully have a successful start to the FPL season. Right now, to begin with the chance of winning the overall thing, you've got to average 66 points a game. Now, that's pretty challenging to make that number every week. And it involves all 11 scoring players making big contributions every week and, and coming in with a good score. Right? And what I call a good score is when a player does something extra to add points. So things like goals, clean sheets, assists and the bonus points as well. So we'll start. Uh, I'm just going to create a new report. So I'm going to click on the little plus icon here. So I've added a new page and I'm just going to right click and I'm going to rename it and I'm going to call it uh, I'm going to call it player analysis. There we go. Lovely. Right now <clears throat> um, as you can see from the field section here my uh, my tables have been loaded in. I've got fixtures, my auto pick side and my player data. Now just to add a table visual to this report I just from the visualizations pane I'm going to click uh, click on the table visualization and that adds the table to my report. Now what I'm going to do before I do anything else, I'm going to drag this down a little bit to about halfway and then I'm going to resize it to fill the bottom half of my um, of my report page. Now I'm going to pop populate this table with uh, Premier League data. So there's a few fields I'm going to get from the players data table. So I'm going to get uh, in the order I want to appear in my uh, in my table. I'm going to get the full name of the player. I'm going to get their club. I'm going to get their position. Let's see if I can find it. Where's he gone? Uh, scroll down a bit more. There's position. How do you mean? So we've got player, club, position. I want total points. that back in there. Oh, I've missed out position. So we go back and add in position. And then I can just reposition it in the table by dragging and dropping here. Um, then I want points per million. Points per million. Points per game. Then we're going to look at goals conceded. We're going to look at goals scored. I'm going to add in assists, uh, and then I'm going to choose um, bonus points, bonus point system. Uh, there's, a, there's a value in here called EP Next, which is this one, um, and that's FPL secret source, if you like, but they make it available in the API, and it's an estimate of the points they expect the player to get in the next game. So. Um, I don't know how good it is, I'm not sure how accurate it is, but I'll use it if needed. So you can see what my um, what my final table looks like there. Right, so next up I'm going to add two slices. I've got a three player limit, which means I can only pick three players from each club. So I might want to see uh, data on a particular club or clubs. Right? And I might want to drill into different positions as well. So I'm going to add uh, two horizontal, horizontal slices, so that the slices look like buttons on the report. One for club and... Uh, one for position. All right, so I'm going to click off my report here, uh, and then I'm going to click on the slicer visual here. Then I'm going to resize my slicer, so I'm going to take it right up to the top. I'm going to keep it the full width, uh, and then I'm going to drag in club to the slicer field well. All right, and that'll give me a nice big long list with a scrolly bar. Well, I don't want that. So with the slicer selected, I'm going to hit the Format Painter tab. Uh, and then I'm going to go to the General section, and I'm going to change the orientation from vertical to horizontal. And look at that. It gives me the lovely 20 clubs 
with a nice set of buttons, which is fantastic and just what I want. So I'm going to click off that slicer. And with that picked, I'm going to add in a position slicer. So I click slicer again to add another slicer. All right, and I can, um, I'm just going to resize this already because it's not looking particularly nice on here. I'm going to drag this down. There we go. And in here, I'm going to just add the position. So it'll tell me if it's a goalkeeper, defender, midfielder, or a forward. So I'm just going to click on position there. And it adds position to the field. And I'm going to make that a nice little uh, horizontal slicer as well. So let's change the orientation from vertical to horizontal. And we have these nice little buttons in there. Now, a couple of things I want to do here. On the general tab, I just want to turn off the slicer header because that little bit of thing there is annoying. I'm going to do the same for club, it's just quite obvious what these are. And there you go, we have got our um, our final report. If I want to do any sort of filtering, right? so if I want to sort, say, by total points, granted this Brighton is selected here, so we can see there that, uh, see Brighton's top player, Trossard, and then Lewis Dunk is second, and we've got points per million, points per game, total points for last season, goals scored, assists, and so on. And then if we want to filter on this as well, we can do filtering on this page. So if I wanted to limit by, say, price. Actually, I want to add price to this table. So I'm going to add price in here too, because that's quite important uh, when it comes to making a decision. I'm going to add price in there, but I'm also going to add price to filters on this page. Now, it says advanced filter in there. I'm just going to change that to basic. All right, and then you can see I can choose all the prices uh, in Brighton, and it goes, well, not Brighton, this is everybody, all the players, all the sort of four and a halfs, the fours, fives, sixes, and so on. So if I wanted to just sit, get a four million pound player, I can choose that. Now I am selecting Brighton as well. Uncheck that slicer. Right, and it adds in all the four million pound players in. Right, so that's it. All I've got to do now is pick my team, and that's coming up next. So stay tuned.